does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacor has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacor if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacor officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. cared about this team, he wouldn't get turned around as soon as an ex-girlfriend walks into the room. I am Groot. I am not! We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Leave us alone, Quill. The Nova Tracker on Peter's chair isn't looking good. The countdown is making me anxious. Three cycles is not a sufficient amount of time. Really hope we can have the thing removed on nowhere, or we'll need a new- So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Maybe we should check other Nova Core stations to see if they're alright. If you wanna check out Nova Core, you do it after we get to nowhere. Assassin! Calm down, I'm just going to the bathroom. I am not agitated. You just looked at me like you wanted to stab me. My apologies. I have been told I have an angry thinking face. Did Rocket say that? No, it was Hovat, my late wife. Oh, sorry. She used to compliment my contemplative scowls. She found them very arousing. All right, I'm out of here. Assassin. You believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Looked pretty obvious to me. Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force? Doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. Gamora? Not you two. Guys, stop using my toothbrush! Toothbrush? I thought it was a nail brush. It's a toothbrush! For cleaning teeth! You put my nail brush in your mouth? Demora! Maybe the Slama thing is not so bad after all. Sure doesn't seem like it has Zephron's disease. We should find a name for the beast. Why? It's not like we have more than one. Nowhere, here we come. black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. He 
You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Nova Corps all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. I hope Nowhere's Chief of Security will intervene to assist Novacor, the station we visited. It perturbs me still. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. You wouldn't know Rocket's tracker removing guy by any chance. Nope. Sorry. Confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. How do you have dealings with this Cosmo murderess? We've circled back to that name, have we? It's a statement of fact. You are by trade an assassin. And you're a convicted serial killer. Your hands aren't exactly clean. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? Head straight through the market. Can't miss it. Something else I can help you with? Uh, no. I think we're good. Time on me. Move along, please. Be good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, when it befits them. Well, you're one to talk. How many people did you kill on your crusade against Thanos? Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on that. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. It's strange that's one of the things most galactic cultures share. That and walking on two legs. I always imagine. Oh, 
soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. The Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. She's gone, Drax. <laughs> Mantis, what are you... Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making mad face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. We mean. Okay, bye. So, Gamora. You and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. Uh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't... Just ignore me! We gotta talk about this! Stick around for a bit. Can you please? Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordidia. With your britches. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me?
What? What? No, no! Man, who could forget a face like that? <laughs> this is crazy. This is great. This is bad. This is really bad. Remember, Ita, you and me. Starlight. Get out till the end. What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh! It's a song, right? It is. Of course, it's a song. The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did. Unbreakable blood oath. That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh no no no! Whoa, whoa, wait wait wait! Of course, I, I remember. Y you, me, uh, the the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go! You, uh. Oh, to sing a song. Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this storm gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a hurricane, right? Storm! Storm Rider! Storm Rider! Storm Rider! Very naughty. Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now it's us to the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through, through the pouring the rain. Pour rain. For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good times, good times, good times! You running the ravages now? I hear Yondi's doing time in the kiln. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacore nabbed my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Uh, so, uh, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. <laughs> Which reminds me, I'd best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Uh, well, listen, Ita. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me? Oh, I would have. Uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Alright, so. I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember. Bye. Nice 
from Peter. <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized you would not be killed. <sighs> Great. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom, when the, uh, Shatara came. She also died for no reason. They just... shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach your tough, one must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. Whoa, whoa, wait. Wherever my mom is, it's not out there, okay? She was a good person. How do you know? Because I just know, all right? If she's anywhere, it's in heaven. She doesn't just deserve to... stop being. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh. Yeah. Sure, man, no problem. I'll catch you back at the ship. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose.
definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Peter, there's something out there, but I won't tell you what it is, because I think being distant makes me mysterious. You? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Who's there? up inside one of them processing machines. What's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, hey guys, wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Uh, get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, by heart nowhere? Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way. Get him! We've been hired! Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dude. <laughs> uh, uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. 
You don't cross Lady H. Uh, uh, triple. Uh, oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, Rob. Time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together.
<clears throat> I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space. Ugh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, buddy, what are you doing there? You scuds got a lot, Jim. 
We almost murder after The word is murdered. That's what he said. Sheesh, no use being pediatric. Mm. Oh, crap. Would kill a lot of you. But not you. Miss with big words. Nope. Lady H won't give you alive. Not too alive. Well, then you have failed your mission. Miserably. Peter Quill. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we ain't no slouches. We're part of a league now. No, no, no. Not a league. It's a legion. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Mm -mm. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer so if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never laughed. One minute we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. 